Oh, summer. I just love it. A time to get outside and enjoy all of what Idaho's natural beauty has to offer. And we do have a lot of it, don't we? Whether that's paddle boarding on the lake or hiking in the mountains, you're likely to see all sorts of animals in their natural habitat, like hummingbirds. Back in 2004, we introduced you to a stay at home dad who spent his days tracking tiny birds with tiny tools and tiny bands. Brian Holmes showed us a day in the life of a hummingbird tracker. It's fitting for the wee hours of the morning that Stacy Peterson is setting up a small snare in hopes of capturing the smallest of flying creatures, the hummingbird. This is the calliope. And he's the, you said the smallest? Yeah, the smallest bird in North America. It's also one of the four found in Idaho. They'll flutter a little bit, they usually calm down pretty quick. Stacy has been tracking hummingbirds for the past four years. In America, we call it just banding. It's called banding because it's what he does, putting little bitty bands. It's less than 1% of their body weight. On the legs of hummingbirds. So there's a banded black chinned hummingbird. It's actually hummingbird research. We're trying to answer questions dealing with hummingbird populations, such as uh, how long do they live in Idaho? What migratory routes are they taking? Those answers are found in the information Stacy scribbles here and sends to a national database using tiny tools. Precision is uh, fairly important. He measures its beak and body fat, clamps on the numbered clasp, then sets it on the scale. With a hummingbird, they're so calm for a while. You can just lay them upside down on the scale. 4.7 grams. Just for comparison, a penny weighs 2.5 grams. And sometimes they're a little light-footed. Oops, that's why I do that last. Stacy isn't a scientist. He's actually a stay-at-home dad. So he's used to the perpetual pace of kids and hummingbirds. So their wings are going 50 beats a second. Their heart rate's going 250 beats a minute. Their respiration is about 250, 260 breaths a minute. So you can tell when you held it in your hand that that's quite a motor you can actually feel. And here, like the many other bird banders across the country, Stacy just does this for fun. It goes beyond fun. We all enjoy it. Tracking birds that are just passing through. Tremendous migration. Uh, almost all hummingbirds will actually spend most of the winter down in south central Mexico. So that's quite a ways. And along the way, he's found other banded birds. I caught a rufous hummingbird that had been banded about 30 or 35 days earlier in British Columbia. But somebody pinpointing a Peterson tag? That's what I'm waiting for. No, not yet. <laughs> that would be the... It's the holy grail of banding, yeah. But hummingbirds are my passion when they're here. And they're only here for a relatively short period of time. So just holding them for a moment is exciting enough for Stacy. There she goes. Exciting in the hummingbird world. In the hummingbird world, yeah, exactly. It's not curing cancer, but it's, it's still exciting. Yeah. Brian Holmes. It's pretty cool. Idaho's News Channel 7.